work hard in silence let success make the noise with this inspirational quote myself nandita de souza presenting you the lesson on body movements do watch the video till the end to understand the lesson thoroughly let's get started all of us move different parts of our body while doing different kinds of activities while walking running talking over the phone or while writing maybe reading during playing swimming and also during eating you must have noticed we are moving different parts of our body you might have also noticed that while performing some activity you might have to use only single part of your body for example while reading a sentence from your textbook you will have to move only your eyes wherein majority of the activities you will have to use multiple body parts for example dancing dancing is one such activity wherein you will be moving all your body parts it can be your eyes it can be your hands shoulders legs neck etc isn't it now let's study what is movement and what is locomotion movement is when the living organism moves a body part or parts without any change in the position of the organism whereas locomotion is when the movement of a part of the body leads to change in the position and the location of the organism if we take an example for the movement while writing you just move your hands and eyes wherein you don't move your position from one place to another isn't it so movement is when the organism moves apart or parts without any change in the position of the organism what are the examples for locomotion walking running swimming in these activities you change the position and location isn't it from one place to another you swim and move from one place to another so there is change in the position and location these are the examples for movement and locomotion all locomotions are movements but all movements are not locomotion all locomotions are movements in the sense in locomotion part or parts of our body do move but what about in movement position or location doesn't change hence all locomotions are movement but all movements are not locomotion you might have also observed that when you're not doing any activity some body changes body movements happen in your body like breathing blinking of eyes these are not done intentionally these happen in regular intervals automatically in your body so let's understand about these body movements in detail one by one in this chapter when doing exercises you can bend your arms and legs at the joints but if i ask you to bend your hands from your or bend your leg from here are you able to do that no similarly if i ask you to tie a scale to your arm the way it has been shown and then try to bend your elbow will you be able to do that no you won't be able to bend your elbow let's look at the reason we are able to bend or rotate our body in places where bones meet now look at this one this is human skeleton system we know that human skeleton system consists of 206 bones and there are number of joints present as you can see for example look at this one this is your upper thigh bone and this is your lower leg bone and there is a joint present here that's called as your knee joint that's why you are able to bend your knee from this point there is joint present at your elbow there are number of joints present here and there what i meant to say is we are capable of moving our body only where the 
bones meet and this is the reason why you cannot bend your hands and legs other than the places where the joints are present you can only bend your arms and legs where the joint is present so now let's study about joints in detail what are joints joints are places where bones meet as i already explained you the places where the bones meet that is our elbow our knee these are the places where the bones meet and these are called as our joints joint can also be defined as it is a point in the body where two or more bones meet now let's move forward and understand about these joints in detail what is cartilage cartilage is a type of smooth tissue that covers the surface of a bone at a joint you can see here two bones are joined and the joint is been separated with some kind of smooth tissue and this smooth tissue is called as cartilage now what is the function of the cartilage cartilage helps to reduce the friction of movement within a joint cartilage prevents damage to end of the bones because of the presence of this cartilage the friction between the two bones is reduced also a clear sticky fluid is secreted by the synovial membrane you can see clear sticky fluid in between the two bones that is secreted by by the synovial membrane and it provides lubrication and reduces friction so together we can say that the cartilage and synovial membrane provides lubrication and helps to reduce the friction of movement within a joint okay you might have observed that we are able to move a few parts of our body easily in various directions and some only in one direction in fact we are unable to move some parts at all what's the reason for this because there are different types of joints present in our body which help us to carry out different movements and activities and different joints allows different degree of movement so the type of movement the degree of movement depends upon the types and presence of joints in our body at a particular place there are four types of joints they are ball and socket joint fixed joint pivotal joint and hinge joint let's study about these types of joints in detail in our next video don't forget to subscribe my channel and kindle kids learning for all the upcoming videos see you in my next video till then stay home stay safe